Today we're going to talk about integrated circuits. You might be wondering why there's this chip in the center of this sand. In sand, there's quartz. This is a form of quartz. It's a very ugly, raw form of quartz. Not polished. Quartzite is used to take and it melts it down in a foundry. And then from there, to take, make it into silicon. I'm at 14. I'm going to show you a sample of it. This is a, a chunk of it. It's a small section. Look how shiny that is. Now we're going to look under the microscope of this. So it's going to be so cool seeing this. This is silicon. So the reason I was showing you that little chip in the bucket of sand is because sand has quartz in it, mostly quartz and rocks. So they take and they melt that down into this. And then it in turn take and when they get a bunch of this stuff, silicon, they melt it down into uh, monocrystalline silicon or polycrystalline silicon. They're making it into a giant rod, about eight inches is what this one is. This is the non-polished side. And this would be probably like six to 10 feet long. And they're taken to use a wire saw and it cuts this down to the size that they want. You can see this very thin, right? So, then they take and polish it twice, mechanically and chemically, and they get it mirror finish. Obviously, this has got some blemishes in it, so you probably bet that this is not something that they pass. So this is the raw form of a silicon wafer. I'll call it the raw form, I'm probably wrong. And I'm going to show you a populated, this is a silicon IC wafer, this is populated. So, what's inside of these chips is mounted on your circuit boards is something that they take and they make from, I'll show you this giant wafer, right? This is just a different size of this. This grid that you see on this individual circuits and we're going to look at this in the microscope those are individual circuits mind-blowing from quartz to this to this so for reference what I'm about to wave in from under the microscope it's a toothpick. And that is the piece of wire that I just touched. This is inside of an IC chip. And this would be one of those silicon wafers that's been cut down. And you can see the intricate traces inside there. There's transistors and whatnot. I'm not sure what's all inside of it, but you can see this is what it looks like on the inside. And they take and they solder the wires onto pads inside of this capsule of a chip. And that's how that works. Isn't that amazing? Now, you've seen this up and close. Let's take a look at the actual silicon, the rock. So it looks like, see what the surface looks like. It looks like a moon rock from just glancing at it. So, this is what the silicon looks like. Not much you can see. I mean, it's just. I'm not sure what we would, what you would expect from looking at a rock like this. I'm not sure what people want to see. 
Let's do the flat side. It's got a lot of crystals on this side. I say crystals, but I'm not really sure what they are. It might just be cut corners, broken corners. That's what it looks like. Now for the silicon wafer that's been populated with ICs. I'm not sure what we're going to be able to see and what we're not going to be able to see. This is not a high powered microscope by any means, but we'll see what we can see. Oh wow, look at that guys. <laughs> Um, the only thing that the listing said it was meant for optics, so I'm guessing this is probably something like a an isolator, an isolator chip. That's what I'm guessing. So this what all those squares look like, and then I've noticed there's some that have a red marking. And I'm going to see if I can go over there with the red marking. See, see if I can find my hand. There we are. Now, this is a failed circuit. I don't know what happened to the light, but okay. Light went dim. That would be a failed circuit. Let's see if we can find one in the center somewhere. How about this one over here? That apparently is a bad circuit there. It's marked. So they, they have to have somebody that inspects this. Might have been something so minuscule. So they had a dot. That one obviously right there has got something wrong with it. I'm not sure what that is. We got some more up here. Here's another bad one. That's another bad one. Obviously that's another bad one. And some reason they didn't like that. So there you have it guys. All of these are parts inside of a part. That, that's pretty cool, isn't it? I hope you like this. I did. Let's put it on 2x. Two times magnification. Now you can see a bunch of them at once. That's pretty awesome. Let's do the little rock again. Reflection. So this is melted down and it's just obviously been shattered and broken. So this is the melted down silicon or melted down quartz, basically melted down high grade sand and they make it into this kind of ore and then melt that into the monocrystalline or polycrystalline wafers and outcomes in this after a series of processes. I think this is the neatest thing. 
I really hope you liked this video. If it's pretty neat, you forget to learn something. Sand, course, makes circuitry. Who would have thought? So, if you're interested in, in learning more about this stuff, I'll put some video links in the video description down below of a guy that will learn some more information about this process. It goes more in depth about the foundry and all this stuff. Saying big words that I have no idea how to pronounce. Obviously, I'm just going to be like totally slammed in the comment section. There's the little silicon chip, the uh, the rock again. That's what it looks like. I'm at 14 in the periodic table. And last, I'm going to show again the 8 inch wafer. Look how that looks, that's infinity mirror. So, that's how thin that is. And that's what they populate the circuits on. You just saw in the video before, another microscope. This is a three inch version of it, and it's just, it's really cool. So, hope you liked it, hope you enjoyed it. Something different from what I usually do. I will be starting a different path in this channel. We're going to be learning how to do package ship replacement, soldering, and tips and tricks. I think that would be essential for this channel to move forward and a lot more technical stuff and dish lathering and remover capacitors from television. And uh, I will still be doing screen replacements if I can get them from people for their laptops and stuff just to keep buffer because I'm not going to be able to continually just there's only so many packages there's a lot of packages out there probably I would say four or five hundred packages and I'm going to go through different resistors diodes transistor packages the chip packages and if we find out any more information of any different ingredients and stuff that would make whatever works We'll go that route. We're, we're going to explore electronics. We're going to have fun. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.